Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to download and install iFlight EV for iOS and Android, and we'll go over the initial setup process as well. So we'll start off with iOS here, and to get set up, you can go ahead and click the App Store icon here to open up the App Store to download iFlight, and that's going to be this white triangle with the blue outline. Typically, it's going to pop you out on this far left tab that says today at first, but we're going to go ahead and go to the far right and click the search tab. Then you can click the search bar at the top and type in iFlight EFB. The text here doesn't have to be perfect, just to get enough for the search engine to know what you're talking about. So once you have iFlight EFB typed in, you can click search. Then you'll notice two options here. We have iFlight EFB and iFlight EFB Legacy iFlight EFB Legacy is going to be if you have an older iOS version, which would be iOS 12 or earlier. And so if so, this is the version that you download. But most modern tablets are going to be using just the normal iFlight EFB, which would be for 13, iOS 13 and beyond. So you'd click here. Next, we'll go ahead and actually download it. And there's going to be two buttons here. Typically, there's either a cloud with the arrow that you can see under the word navigation or a word that says install. And so you'll click that button, whichever one it is. And you'll sh it'll show a little circle there showing the downloads being completed. And once it's done, it will say open, showing that it's been installed. And we'll go ahead and click open here. Next, we'll go ahead and look on how to install iFly on an Android device. So here I'm just on my typical Android phone. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Google Play Store. Um, typically, every Android phone should have this installed. And it's where iFly EFB is available to download. And that's going to be this icon at the top here that says Play Store with a little triangle icon. And we will click that to open it. And you'll see this menu here. Now, if you're not logged in, to a Gmail account, you might get a pop-up asking you to either create an account or log in, and so you'll go ahead and do so. But since I'm already logged in here, we can go ahead and click search at the top here, and then we can type in iFly EFB, and we can click search. Next, you should see us pop up here, and you can go ahead and click on us and click install. And it should take a second here, and it'll give you a little percentage telling you how far along it is. Once installed, you can click the Open button to open the app. And from here, it's going to be the exact same setup as it was for the iOS device at the beginning of the video. Next, it's going to ask you for some permissions to use the app. And so these, were going to be, these are going to be to connect to local devices on your network and a location permission. The connect to local devices is just for like ADSB use. That way iFly can take data from that to use and display. And so you'll click allow. And then it also wants access to your GPS location. That way iFly knows where to put your plane on the screen. And so you can click allow while using the app. And here you can click next. Then you'll pick which kind of charts you need. I need VFR plus IFR. Would you like high end routes also? No thanks. Include helicopter charts. That's up to you. For me, I'll click no thanks. And then here it's going to pop up the chart download screen to get you set up with the initial charts that you need. So iFly works by downloading charts by state. And so the states I'll be flying in are going to be Texas and Oklahoma. So I'll click those. And then you can click advanced options here to make sure it has the collect correct data types that you want downloaded. And so clicking on mine here, that looks all good to me. So once you have all of that selected, you can click begin download in the bottom right. And then begin download. And just for our sake today, I'm going to click show map. That way we can continue using the map or the app while the data downloads in the background. To access information about your account and login, you'll go ahead and click the menu button, then about, and then my account. From here, you can either log in or register. Logging in logs you into your current account if you already have a subscription or an account, and registering creates an account under a new email. So if you click login, you can go ahead and enter your details in here in order to access your account.
Logging in is important because it's what allows iFly to know that you have a subscription with us. Otherwise, it just doesn't know that this device belongs to someone with a subscription. Once logged in, you can see on this page, it'll give you access and let you know that your device is registered to your email. It'll show your current subscription information. And if you don't have iFAR or multi-platform or a subscription, you can click the buy button on this page. Um, it's not showing for me here because I have all three, but if that was the case, it would show a buy button and allow you to purchase those from here. Other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. If you have questions, feel free to email us or call us at 214-585-0444. Thanks. Bye.